Welcome to Old Iron Machine Works. Uh, this will be a shorter video. Um, I'm actually showing some spark plug adapter tubes that I've made up for doing a compression check on some big Yenbacher engines. And this is one of the uh, one of the engines that got swapped out. And you'll see where the spark plug tubes on the top. You pull them out, and then there'll be a tube that just screws right into the cylinder to do a compression test. And what they want to do is multiple cylinders at the same time, so when they're cranking it over, you know, they're, they'll have several uh, compression testers hooked up. And these are some components that the customer supplied. He went ahead and bought these. They were already hardened to where they uh, clip right onto the coupler of the compression tester. And then we want to adapt them to these tubes, which are just some pipe tubes. Now the bottom probe ones, you know, are hard, just so they don't wear out where they plug in and out of the, out of the coupler. And here I'm just showing where I cut the one end off that were threaded. And then I'll go in and those ends are already machined off. And then I'll go and ream a hole um, on the inside of the pipe tubes. And then they'll just be soldered together. Here I'm just showing, uh, just with a part off tool, cutting off the threaded part, and then I'll just go in and bore the hole with a uh, just using a, an end mill. Now, if any of my subscribers aren't into watching this, this is going to be about a 10 minute video of just this little project. Um, I'm also using this video to announce my 5,000 sub giveaway, so you definitely want to skip to at least the 10 minute mark. And then I'll be given a little information for my, uh, you know, for my uh, 5,000 giveaway. Here I'm just getting a good measurement um, before I machine the other half that, that drives into this uh, tube. Okay, on the other half, I already have a nice uh, machine hole for these to drive into. And what I'm doing here is machining a relief for the silver solder to flow into. And then the very end right there will fit nice and tight inside the hole. And then I'll have my controlled gap that I want to use for the silver solder to flow around into. Versus just driving and sticking a pipe in, you know, you're not going to have a consistent gap all the way around. And now it's just a matter of just filling in the gap with the uh, silver solder. And showing the area that we'll have the silver solder float into. Now the customer has the adapters already that will screw onto the pipe. They're just quarter inch pipe. And then uh, the other side will be the same thread as the spark plugs. And they'll install those when they get them. I normally don't make a habit of beating on stuff with a hammer, but these things are so darn hard. Uh, brass hammer worked great. You know, they just kind of drove right in and, you know, no damage at all just to, due, to this, due to the hardness of it.
if you're not familiar with silver solder, it, it's nothing like a soft solder you'd use for a copper pipe or electrical solder. Um, a very, very tough material, but it's, it's awesome when you have something where you have a gap where you want the solder to flow into. Where brazing rod doesn't really flow into uh, small gaps very well, where the silver solder does. And here I'm just getting a uh, working on getting the heat, and once you get the heat right, it, it'll show you. It'll it'll flow right away, and at that point you just fill the void in. And when it with the way that I did this, it can't flow out the bottom, so it'll fill up right away, and then you know you're done. Here I'm just putting a little polish on, knocking some of the the coating that was on the pipe off of it. Just make them look a little bit better. If we were only doing a couple of these, I think it would have been fun to uh, go ahead and just machine them out of one piece and then have them heat treated and ground. But I think I've done over 40 already and I got another dozen uh, besides these uh, waiting for me to also do. So they definitely want a bunch of them at, at their different sites. Okay, this brings us to my subscriber giveaway. This was my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, and it was a Noga indicator. And I wanted to do something a little bit different for my 5,000 giveaway. Okay, I just wanted to take a minute to thank my subscribers. Um, as you guys know, I'm more comfortable behind the camera than in front of the camera. Um, but this video is about my 5,000 subscriber. And I just want to thank everybody that did subscribe and takes the time to watch my videos. And I'll write in comments as far as how to enter for my 5,000 giveaway. Um, so it'll be really simple. Uh, whoever wants to enter can enter. You know, there's no no big rules or anything about it. And um, 
and I want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. Okay, now that I got that whole being in front of the camera stuff out of the way, um, on with the show. Uh, the Noga indicator I thought was a really cool gift. But I realize that there's some viewers that maybe like to watch the videos, but not necessarily have a machine shop or have a use for any machining related deals. So I wanted to come up with something that I thought anybody could use. And I decided on uh, this right here. Um, you know, a nice little impact driver with a cordless drill. I can't think of too many people that would not have a use for this. So anyway, that's what I decided to go with for the 5000 giveaway. Um, once again, um, I'm going to show some older footage here with my daughters. Because my daughters are going to be a big part of helping, uh, you know, with the tickets. Uh, when people uh, send an email, um, they'll be, you know, they'll be helping out with doing all that, you know, as far as writing the name and keeping track of that. Um, I'll talk a little bit more, um, you know, as the video goes on what you need to do to put in for the sub subscriber giveaway. All right, here we go. It's time to do the uh, thousand subscriber giveaway. And I have my two daughters that are going to help out. Adley on the left. And Amy there on the right. And we also have Adelie's Pooch. I call him Harry, but his actual name is Potter. And here's how we're going to do it. Here's the... Everybody's going to have two tickets that are going to go in to that drum right there. And each person will have a number assigned. First one here will be assigned 12. There was only, I believe, 48 people that actually sent an email that wanted to be into the drawing. Um, so anyway, everybody clear to the end will have a subscribe number. If for whatever reason you do not see your name, then I did not get an email from you guys. Uh, we're now going to just tear apart the tickets and put them in the tumbler. Okay, we got all the tickets all separated. And like I say, you know, we got 48 entries. Each person has two tickets. The way I'm going to have it set up, if somebody happens to get drawn, um, great. But for a future drawing, they'll still have another ticket in the drum, which they will have a, another chance down the road to still win something else. Uh, once they, if they win two, they're they're pretty well done, you know. And of course, here's the list of the people. Um, I purposely did not want to have a thumbnail where it was like advertising a thousand giveaway because I really didn't want to. The purpose of the giveaway wasn't for gaining subscribers. It was more for existing subscribers. Unfortunately, there was only a little over 400 views on the video. Um, you know, but it has been three weeks since I posted a video. And I did pretty much put everybody that sent something in uh, all the way up to three weeks when I was going to do two weeks. So anyway... Uh, now Amy's gonna dump the tickets into the into the tumbler. Okay, this brings us to the point where how do you enter? It would be nice if you were a subscriber, but it's not mandatory. And all you have to do is send an email to old iron machine works at yahoo.com and leave your first and last name and some kind of contact information, either email, phone number, whatever, where I can contact you. And all you have to do is just state, uh, put me in the 5,000 sub giveaway. Um, as easy as that. And I'm gonna give till Christmas day for people to put in for the drawing. And then sometime between Christmas and New Year's, me and my daughters, you know, hopefully we'll have a chance to go through everything. 
um, do a winner and put a video out before the first of the year. Anyway, once again, I appreciate you taking the time to check out my videos. Everybody have a Merry Christmas and we'll see you soon.